Hello my friends, I'm in the shop making these rocking horses. Now I can't take credit for the idea because I was at an Amish toy shop and they had these rocking horses, but I decided to make my own. I wanted to have a little bit more of a realistic looking horse than what the Amish had there. And so I came up with this little drawing of a horse and of course you've got to have these legs so that they'll rock back and forth oops I got that back leg on backwards but anyway you've got your uh, rocker and then the mounting block that that horse will sit on so I've basically got two two legs one is a a straight leg you can see on the left there and then the other one has a little curve to it and I'll show you what I did with that in a minute uh, here's a piece of cherry that I've milled down to three-eighths of an inch thick to make those legs. And then this is just a scrap piece of cherry that I'm going to uh, plane down to a half inch thick. And that's what I'll use to make the actual horse's body and the rockers and also that block that the, the horse will be mounted on. So after I got the, the horse that I wanted drawn up there I uh, put it onto a piece of card stock a little bit heavier paper that I can use when I go to trace this onto my boards and so the first step is to trace that horse and then here's the rocker we'll need two of those and so I always try to uh, make the best use of my lumber that I can so I'm not wasting that uh, cherry lumber and of course we'll need four legs. I'll make two of the straight ones and two of the curved ones. So we get that all traced out onto the uh, pieces of wood then take them over on the scroll saw. And here we go, we have to saw out all these pieces. So this piece of cherry right here came from a tree in the backyard. It was struck by lightning and uh, I had to cut it down and. I took it over and had it sawed under lumber and uh, so I'm going to make these rocking horses out of it. There's that horse I've got to cut out. So I had uh, quite a time picking out the right blade to use to uh, be able to cut through this half inch thick hardwood here. This cherry is very hard and it's brittle. And, um, I finally got the blade that works the best here. I'm able to cut these out. So there's the horse's body all ready to go. Now I use my belt sander and then I've got an oscillating sander that I use uh, to be able to cut those inside angles there. That's what the uh, oscillating sander is made for. So it really does a good job on those edges. And then I finish it off with uh, with this sander here, it's one of those random orbital sanders, and so we've got the two rockers all ready to go, and now we've got to drill a hole down through there. So I hold both of them together and drill that hole down through, and I've got the hole drilled into the bottom of the horse, ready to mount, and the next thing we have to do is. Uh, take one of those bent leg and a straight leg and I hold them both together and drill the hole down through the two of those for the dowel. Okay so after you get your four legs drilled then the next thing is we're going to have this little plug that's going to go on the outside of the leg just to make it look more decorative and so I use this Forster bit it's called and it's made for uh, drilling down to a piece of wood and leaving a flat bottom. And so the first hole that I drilled is just the size of the dowel. And this is a little bit bigger, so I just go down in just a little bit. I think you can see that, what that looks like in there. Uh, so that that plug will fit down in. Okay, now we have uh, the horse that we're going to drill to attach the legs and I use that Forrester bit again because it's a little bit bigger and that dowel will turn real easy on that. So here's how we attach the 
the legs. They're going to fit fairly tight on those legs. But the, uh, the hole through the horse is bigger, and so they can really move freely, as you can see there. Okay, so this is that center block that the horse is going to be mounted on. And I took, I uh, made two of those blocks, they're half inch thick, and then I glued them together. And so now I'll take that block, and I'm setting it up off from the, off from the bottom. As you can see, I set it on a couple pieces of board there. Because we want the, the rockers to, to be lower than that block so that they'll rock back and forth. And now we'll stick those dowels in there. Those dowels are three inches long. And now uh, we get it all just just put together just so so that those rockers are right up against that center block. Now the idea is you want to do a dry fit here uh, to get this horse all put together and make sure that he's going to rock okay and everything looks okay. And so I just uh, have everything put together with no glue and we can just kind of uh, see what this horse is going to look like and and test it and make sure it rocks and and so on. Now I've made several of these little rocking horses and I found that it's necessary to do this dry fit for each one of them because even though I'm using the same pattern for all of them uh, no two are exactly the same and you want to make sure everything's going to fit and that it's going to work before you uh, glue things up. So this guy is looking pretty good. Okay, so I've got that center block right where I want it between those two rockers. And so the next step here is to drill through the rocker with a real small drill bit. Uh, but not into the block, just through the rocker on both sides. And then I can take one of those uh, wire nails and pound it in there and, and hold that center block in place. And then I've got to adjust that center block so that the, the horse is uh, balanced just right so that it'll rock just right. So I'll show you what I mean on that. But here I'm sticking those wire nails in. They're one inch long nails. And uh, I've drilled through that rocker, which is a half inch. So that leaves a half inch of uh, the nail to go into the, the block there. That's plenty to hold it. All right, so it's time to glue things up. And so uh, I'm putting those little decorative plugs in the legs right now. And, and there's uh, a couple of them going into the rocker. And now we'll stick some glue inside that that hole that I drilled for the dowels which is just the same size as that dowel and so they'll fit in there nice and tight and after they're glued that'll that'll hold those rockers together and now we've got our block down in between and so uh, once you once you get to this step here you've already done your dry fit so you know everything is is right and so we've got to work fast because we want to uh, get everything glued and then make any adjustments that we need to make before that glue dries. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put the dowels into those legs. That dowel is one inch long. And we'll put a little glue on the other end of the dowel before we put the other leg on. And like I said uh, earlier, we've got one straight leg and one curved leg. And the idea is we're going to have that, that curved leg uh, sticking out farther so it looks like that horse is stepping. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. I put that uh, curved leg right there on the left side and the straight on the right and then the opposite on the back. And so that curved leg up front there bumps up against the dowel but we'll get all these dowels uh, glued in here's the one that's going to hold, hold that horse body onto that block 
and that dowel there is an inch and a half long and like I said we've got to get all these things glued up uh, in a hurry here so that uh, I can make any adjustments I need to make before the glue dries. Now I want to make sure that both the front and back legs contact that block when I rock it and so I tip that block back and forth until I get the horse balanced just right so that all four legs are uh, hitting that block when I rock it. And when I've got it just the way I want it, I drill down in, in through that uh, rocker and put a second nail into that block and that'll hold it right in place so that horse is balanced. And there we go. This guy's, this guy's finished. Okay, so I got all ten of my rocking horses done for Christmas presents. And there they are. I hope you enjoyed the video everybody. If you did, why not hit the uh, like button and consider subscribing to Tim Tools 99. Bye bye.